Nemo, are you ready? It's all yours, buddy. Come on in. We built a tiny house for a homeless dog. And I don't mean a dog house or even a big dog house. I mean a real functioning house. Well, like a real functioning tiny house. It's something I've been wanting to do for a long time, but it actually came to be because I heard the story of a senior dog who was really struggling to walk and almost didn't make it. That is until Reverse Rescue stepped in and said, we'll save this dog. I'm Ty Freese. We are currently here on the Reverse Rescue Ranch. We are just all 10 acres of dog rescue. We have the idea, we have a very deserving dog, but houses are expensive, even if they are tiny. But here's the good news. Furbo Dog Camera, that I use in my own home when I'm fostering dogs and training them or helping them work through anxiety, is gonna sponsor this video, and that's gonna help us pay for this tiny home. You know, I'd had it on my mind for a long time about senior retirement homes, and it turned into wanting to do a tiny home neighborhood. Talked to Rocky on it, all of a sudden, Rocky loves the same idea, and we started. Match made in heaven. This is gonna be perfect. The only thing we gotta figure out now is how to build a tiny house. <laughs> okay, but we will figure it out because we have to figure it out for Nemo, a senior dog that nobody wanted, that they gave up on just because he couldn't walk anymore. I am so excited for this moment. Nemo, I've heard so much about you, buddy. Good boy. Wow, that's amazing. And that's not easy, he's a senior dog too, but he doesn't give up and that's what I love. That's something we can all learn from Nemo, never give up. Look at that, he's doing so good. Can you believe Ty has worked with him for almost a year now to get him to this point where he can walk. Before, he couldn't even do this. He'd just drag his legs everywhere and Reverse Rescue and Ty have really worked with him so that he can get up. Come on, bud. Come on, you can do it. Let's keep going. You can do it. Look at that determination. There we go. Good boy. One after another, one after another. Nemo is such a sweet dog. You know what? I'm making this promise and this commitment right now to you, buddy, and to you guys. We're gonna get this done for you, and we're gonna do it in two weeks or less. I promise. The thing about senior rescue dogs is you don't know how long they'll be with you, and so you wanna cherish every single day and live in the moment with them. This is the biggest project we've ever done, but seeing Nemo's determination inspires me to work even harder so that we can make this happen. Okay, we're gonna do that by having a well laid out plan, a solid design. First, let's start with the kitchen. Now this is gonna be important for humans and the dogs. The dogs for medications, for filling up their water bowl, making their dog food. The humans, so that you can have a working kitchen. Maybe a cup of coffee, watch the sunset come up. We need a fridge, a couch that'll lay down and turn into a bed. Let's test this couch out with this model dog that I found. That interestingly enough has no eyes. <laughs> you can be friends with my dog Kobe. You know, the goal here is to fill the tiny house with everything that you'd have in your home. Just because it's tiny doesn't mean it can't have all the things that you would need to make it feel like a home. All right, now notice there's no bathroom in here. I'm gonna fill you in on that more later, but we are gonna put some landscaping out on the exterior. One, because it looks nice, and two, because that's the doggy bathroom. I mean, you gotta have the good plants to go to the bathroom on, come on. We're gonna use this design to really start the project. I wanna show it to Ty and see what he thinks. Now, there are two things to keep in mind. One is the goal, and that's to build the tiny house. Two is the vision, and that's having a place a home for a dog like Nemo that guest can come stay at. So you could come stay for a couple weeks or a couple months, help out on the ranch, and really let a dog like Nemo know that he is loved. Now that might take more time to get in place, but this tiny house is gonna be a good first step. When Rocky set the design in front of me, just clicked in my head, I know all the building, why not have him do all the interior and all the design parts of it, and it just became a good partnership because from there, I can just work away while he puts the vision behind what it can look like. Ty told me there's actually a kit available, so Ty's gonna put in that order. We're starting with building one house, but Ty's goal is to make this an entire neighborhood, each one of them consisting of a unique tiny home. Our first home's gonna go here, but another little tiny house can go here, and then one can be added here, and here, and so on. But a really important detail is there'll be a community center. That's where all the bathrooms and showers will be. Any necessities that you might need when you're staying in one of the tiny homes at the ranch. So our original plan, um, we were gonna try and move this along and just order a shed, then beef it up. Ty calls me, says, we got a problem. Everything is out of stock. Because of everything going on in the world right now, who knows when they'll be back in stock? I don't know what we're gonna do. So. We decided why not build it from scratch, build it all the way from the ground up 
And then we have the pride in the fact that we built this tiny home in our tiny game. Just seeing all of the awesome work that Ty's done before, I'm confident that we can build it from the ground up. If he says we can build it from the ground up, my concern is how fast can you build a, a tiny house from the ground up? I promised Nemo that we would have this done in two weeks or less. I don't know if we're gonna be able to pull it off. Everyone's working hard while we're getting everything done. A new guest actually shows up at Reverse Rescue and his name is Gary. <laughs> what a cartoon character. I mean, I don't want to call him a pig, but he does look like a little pig. It's funny, it's just, his character is so amazing. Like, he's just smiling from ear to ear after all he's been through even. Ah, uh, Gary. Who's Gary? Gary is a goofy, lovable, Gary's the kind of hairless pig dog that snorts when he eats. He waddles to the point where his belly almost touches the ground because he's such a low rider. And he's got one of those sets of eyes that when he looks at you, it's like a Disney character. It's just, it's goofy and enchanting all at the same time. Gary's gonna get adopted, I know it. He's an awesome dog, but it's gonna take some time. Ty's gotta really rehabilitate him. He's got some skin conditions, all kinds of things. But I have a great idea to welcome him to Reverse Rescue Ranch. I baked Gary a welcome cake. It says, welcome to Reverse Rescue. Gary, uh-oh. All right, we're gonna let Gary dig into that cake, but first, I gotta tell you about Furbo. In our home with our dogs, we use Furbo for a multitude of things. One of the things I really love using it for is helping train the dogs. So Kobe is actually a recent new addition to our family. We just adopted him. Yeah! And training any puppy isn't easy, but training a blind puppy is really challenging. We've been training Kobe with the Furbo dog camera on how to lay down. So I thought we'd try it right now. This is the first time we've done it on camera, so fingers crossed. Lay down. There are a lot of dogs out there that have anxiety and Kobe is one of them. But with the Furbo dog nanny, when we're not home, we can check in on Kobe. We can see him on the HD camera, he can hear our voice with the two-way audio, and we can even toss him a treat. These are the sort of things that can help reduce your dog's anxiety. Something we use for our dogs are the helpful notifications, like the barking alert notification, the continuous barking alert notification, even a dog activity alert. This right here is my main man, Flip. He is my best friend. He follows me everywhere around the house, which is awesome and a lot of fun, but sometimes that can be a problem. So we've actually been using Furbo to help teach him how to stay. I gotta show you the progress. Okay, so here's the plan. We're gonna ask Flip to stay. We're gonna go outside, and if he stays the whole time, we are gonna flip him a treat and Furbo will dispense it to him. Okay, stay. He's doing it, he's doing it. Let's throw him a treat, look. Good boy, Flip. I highly recommend Furbo for your family. And right now I have a special discount for you. If you go get one right now, you can get $20 off. Just enter code Rocky. Go to hello.furbo.com slash Rocky right now to get a Furbo for your dog. And now back to Gary eating some cake. Gary. <laughs> oh, he took out the whole end. <laughs> Oh yeah, those snorts are amazing. <laughs> he just wants it so much. Nobody's gonna take it from you, buddy. Nobody's taking it. It's all your cake. <laughs> he likes the frog. <laughs> this is all mine? Yeah. I'd say that was a hit. Most people, when they come from the city to build out on a ranch, you can always expect that something's gonna happen. They're gonna have their little mishaps, maybe swing a hammer and miss and smash a thumb. I mean, I don't know if you've ever smashed your thumb before, but it is disproportionate in pain. Ah, I, smashed, I smashed my thumb, look at this. Can you see that? Oh, man. Can't take the city boy to the country either. <laughs> Ty, Ty ran over my thumb with the tractor but never really in a car door. Do you expect someone to smash a thumb? So good job, Rocky. He said that uh, you did it in your tractor. You ran over his thumb. Rocky said that I smashed his thumb. 
with my skills. Just kidding. <laughs> I, I slammed it in a car door. What am I thinking? And I don't even have a good story. Now, we made sure we were really detailed in the framing because we framed out a door, we framed out multiple windows, and that takes some work. So it felt really good when the walls actually started going up. We lifted them together as a team. It just felt really good as kind of a rescue family and accomplishing this goal. When you put that first set of walls up, there's like an overwhelming sense of pride. You've made it to this step, you can finish it, and it's gonna be amazing. Okay, so we're working night and day. We're doing whatever it takes, right? We put up the outside perimeter. We gotta have drywall. I mean, this is the messy stuff, the itchy stuff. <laughs> Drywall's not easy. Some of the pieces are a little crooked. Drywall, you are not my friend. If I was to speak to drywall, we'd have a couple of words. We'd, we'd get a little heated. You get in a fight with your friend. My friend is drywall that I get in a fight with. I really don't like him, you know? He's not my favorite person. Drywall is hard. I've done it for a very long time, but for some reason there's a skill set there that you just, you have or you don't have. I, I want to be a singer. I can't really sing. I want to be a drywaller. I can't really drywall. Same, not the same thing, but you know what, to me, I don't like drywall. So there you go, that's all I'm gonna say. Got the ceiling up, getting the walls up right now. The, the secret to drywall that a lot of people don't know is have somebody else do it. Hi, <laughs> hi. All right, exterior is done. Now we're gonna put the interior together. It's the kitchen build. I've got the design layout ready to go, and now it's time to build the kitchen. The only problem is ordering everything online right now. It's back order for weeks, if not months. So I'm gonna head to Ikea and get the things we need. Okay, I'm in Ikea right now because I needed uh, kitchen stuff as we build this tiny house for the homeless dogs. I stood in line for like an hour and they're completely sold out of kitchen cabinets. So I don't know what we're gonna do, but we'll figure it out. It's Rocky called and everything is out of stock. We are not able to get cabinets, countertops, all these different things that you need for a tiny home. But you know what, at the end of the day, we wanted to build this and we, we knew what we were getting into anyways. So why not build it with our own hands do it, show people that, that this is the kind of thing that you can do. You don't gotta be a professional at it, you just gotta have the heart and the motivation to actually do it. So we're gonna build countertop and install floors and we're gonna do it all. There seems to be a certain theme with this tiny house. <laughs> if we can't find it, we just gotta build it. All right, we found cabinet bases at Home Depot and we're gonna buy lumber and actually custom make the countertops. I'm trying to find a fridge. Some of these are pretty small and I'd like to go with a bigger one, but I just, I don't know if we're gonna have the space. Okay, we're back, already have the counter bases in and I think these are gonna look really nice. Okay, I'm actually really excited about this fridge because it's actually a bigger unit, which is really important. We were able to go with that bigger fridge because we're, we're actually gonna run a custom countertop that we're gonna make. It'll run across the cabinets. It'll even blend in with the windowsill and then it'll be able to run over that fridge. Because we're doing it custom, we can afford to build that extra space and get that bigger fridge. Five and a quarter. So we're putting up this white paneling because it's gonna add a lot of nice wall texture. And we could, we could do paint, but textures really add a lot, especially when you're in a small space. It'll just make it feel more homey and more country. Um, so yeah, that's the project we're working on right now. Blake's helping out. Woo! All hands on deck. This home may be tiny, but it takes a big heart to get it done. Nailed it. I like the video for that. <laughs> I mean, it's coming together and that wall, that's like the centerpiece. It's gonna look so good. All right, but that being said, I'm concerned. We are up against the timeline. We only have days left. I mean, it's not much time at all to be able to pull this off. At this point, we're just gonna have to keep working through it, barreling through it, working late, coming in early, like whatever it, whatever it takes to get this done because it's really important, you know? This means a lot for a lot of people and especially for Nemo. We're moving fast. We gotta set this thing. We gotta get poles in. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how long it's gonna take. I've definitely built some decks before, but I haven't built decks at high speed. <laughs> he builds really fast decks, supposedly. Poster in. Now we just gotta do everything else. Yeah. 
that's the problem is that everything is and by the way i forgot to mention we only have tonight the reveals here we show nemo all the everything so we don't have much time left it's like 24 hours at most All right, it's early in the morning. We are all working as fast as we can to bring all this together because today is the day. It's a big day. I'm building a little custom table for our Furbo dog camera that will go in the tiny house. All right, get that screwed in. Yeah, it's all those neat little finishing touches that I think make the big difference. And right now, in my head, I'm thinking we are on track to hit the deadline. <laughs> I should not have jinxed myself that way. So we pulled it off. Are we ready for the reveal? Uh, no, actually we are not. We are almost there, but I had to run out because I don't know, I guess the connector didn't come in the package that, of the faucet we bought. It's what a mess, but we're out of time. So I'm running in to get another faucet right now. So we get this done in time. I bring the faucet back to Ty thinking we are ready to go, but no, <laughs> he sends me back out. I guess the cabinet we have doesn't fit the space. So I'm at Target seeing if I can find a smaller one. The world is crazy right now because everything is sold out at Target. It is nuts. There is nothing. <laughs> I mean, nothing. I don't know what we're going to do. Ed, you have a solution, Vanessa? Hey, yeah. So we found this um, at Ty's house. Oh. We're restoring it. Will it fit? It's going to fit and it fits perfect. What? Oh, let's do this. <laughs> wow, it looks great too. Yeah, crunch time. Okay. All right, so we hit a bit of a snag. Uh, we've hit our budget. The good news is the budget has covered building the entire tiny house and the interior. It's just the outside is bare, right? We need some plants. We need a couple pieces of furniture on the patio just so that it really feels like a home. But I have an idea. I'm going to use this month's membership money so you can join the channel and actually become a member. So thank you to everyone who has joined because it allows us to do cool things like this. And what I love is that if you're a member on this channel, you are helping these dogs with me. You're just as much a part of this as I am, as Ty is. Your membership is more than just supporting your favorite creator. I mean, that is awesome, but it's actually doing good. It's helping dogs and that's pretty cool. So uh, thanks for being a member. If you want to be a member so we can do more cool stuff like this, hit that join button. Let's get some plants set up and some furniture for the outside of the tiny house. I gotta tell you, I'm filled with emotion. We've done some big projects, but nothing like this. This has been more hard work, determination, fun, excitement. We've run into more challenges. We've overcome more obstacles than ever before. So cutting this ribbon means so much more than just letting Nemo see this place for the first time. And I can't wait for Nemo to see this and for all of you to see this. You ready? You ready to come? Oh, oh. There we go, there we go. Boy. Let's go, let's go. Oh, <laughs> he's christening the moment right now. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Okay. I know you're ready. All right, you ready? So ready. Yes. Okay, Nemo, this is for you, buddy. We made a promise two weeks and we kept it. Yep. We kept it down to the minute. Nemo, are you ready to see the Furbo Tiny House? It's all yours, buddy. Here we go. Come on in! There's a little surprise in there. We printed off actual canvas portraits of Nemo, so Ty doesn't know about it yet. I can't wait for him to see it. Nemo, buddy, look, there's canvases of you. What is this? Oh man, I really love those canvases. They, they're so him and every different personality that he has. Check this out. This is Nemo's couch. We have a ramp for Nemo. Then, when you need space, no problem. You just pack it right back up, put it in the couch.
Okay, now check this out. It all came together perfect. First, I'd like to say that I custom made this table. Here's what's so cool about this. He's gonna get treats every 30 minutes. I'm gonna set it so every 30 minutes during the day, he gets treats because it ties in with Amazon Alexa. Well deserved. Big thank you to Furbo. This would not have been possible without your support. Everyone go click the link in the description right now. Let's support the companies that are helping support dog rescue. There's still a lot of little details that we gotta wrap up on this house. It's all gonna come together as we start to put the entire neighborhood together. So make sure you're following along, subscribe, turn on notifications. If you wanna see how all this came together and follow along on this journey, go watch that video right now. Go click, go check it out. And go subscribe to Ty Freese's channel. Let's get him as many subscribers as we can.